one adjustment. not just the picking the arms up and swing it through, just turning our back towards that target. Okay. That's going to be a little bit more difficult because it's a lot easier to just do this. Okay? But to get power, and you guys are still learning, you're just beginning, but to really get power you need to really wind it up and then unleash it down through the ball. Good, really good. Turn your eyes to look and see if this is okay. Yeah, you got to keep the head not 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 down like this, but you just want to keep your head nice and steady. Beautiful. You're gonna have her on the golf course pretty quick. I know. I can see that she's gonna. Yeah. Expectations. Did you think you would be hitting it solid pretty quick, or you had no expectations? I had no expectations. Okay. <laughs> I don't really hit a lot of balls. I think this exceeded her expectation, to be honest. I was like, oops. Yeah. Wow, Spence. You see that one? Great job. See, you guys will be on a course soon. Yes, sir. That's what you were hoping, right? Yeah. Remember, just do our L. We don't have to go really long. Okay. Wow. Good job, that's, huh? That's, uh, that's pretty impressive, I must admit. <laughs> There's a couple ladies I'm working with that have been playing for about six months and they don't hit it nearly that good. You're going to see her out here every day on a driving range. Yes. Yeah, in the next six days. All right, so you want to hit it a little bit farther. We're going to add one more thing, okay? Okay. You're doing much better with making a turn as opposed to just picking it up. Watch how I finish my swing. We want everything going this way. Our knees going to point towards our target. Our belt buckle, our belly buttons, all pointing towards the target. We don't want to swing like this, where everything's still back here. We want everything going this way. So, Spence, what I do with the kids? Have you ever stepped on gum before and got it on your shoe? Have you ever seen anybody step on gum and they're like, "Ugh, I got gum on my shoe." Let's pretend, okay, with this back foot, you step on some gum. So when you swing, you want to put that toe up in the air, like the toe up, and go. There's gum sticking to your heel, sticking to the ground. So you want to check for the gum. Good. Good. How's your stance? A little too wide? Is that shoulder width apart or wide? There we go. A little too wide. Wow. Very good. Very 
Well, that's good. Good, there you go. Now, what about our flex in our knees? A little bit of flex in the knees. A little bit. And keep that flex the whole time, okay? That's better. You're getting there. Yeah, he should have some shorter ones. Yeah. Mm hmm No, because you try too hard, that's why you're tired. You're not supposed to be tired. <laughs> you try too hard. Look at a ball. Now, how's your balance? Is your balance pretty good there? Oh, middle of your feet. Maybe you're too far from the ball, boy. Yeah? Oh, sticks right here. Yeah? Because now you have a shorter club. Go ahead and put your club down. Yeah, you have a shorter club now. No, no, no. <laughs> put it down like you're getting ready to hit. Okay, so hold on to it. There you go. Remember that knee bend. And turn your shoulders and hit. Wow. Awesome. Turn the shoulders and hit. Try to keep that head nice and still, okay? Very good. Yeah, you gotta have your balance. You are doing very, very well. Very well. <laughs> you're, you're understanding concepts quicker than people usually do. Now, the important thing is going to be how much time you're going to be able to put in. Once or twice a week at the range would be perfect. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to meet you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Say go out and take off. Yeah. Let's do it. I have nanny at home too. Or if you can't make it to the range, just go and do you have space in your backyard that you could hit some? I bought a net for them. A oh, perfect. Yeah. That's all you have to do. Yeah. Until you're sweating, then you can stop practicing. Yeah. <laughs> you sweating? Yeah. Already? Balance, huh? What's your posture? Take some pictures.
safe stance, remember to keep those, the, keep your feet on that stick. So keep that lower body really quiet. Okay? Nice. Bend those knees, keep them bent. Nice. Good, Spence. Are you fine with Yeah. You doing good? Very nice. Turn the shoulder spine. Wow, look at that one, Spencer. Good job. Look at the ball. Don't move your head too much. That was pretty good, bud. Do you like that one? Go under the ball, yeah. Go under the ball. It's okay. Nice. You see that one? Nice. Wow, do you see that one? I missed that. Very really nice, good. way up. <laughs> Very wow. nice. Simon just gave me a good thing to talk about. A lot of people think in order to help the ball get up into the air. They help it, but they don't have to. <laughs> we talked about that with the pitching, right? Mm -hmm. But that's what happens with full swings, too. People try to get up there and try to help it get up in the air, and they go like this, and they swing right over top of it and wonder why the ball didn't land. Yeah. Good. You want to try to hit down into the ball and make it get up into the air. Okay? Mm -hmm. L, 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 L. Good. Okay. You're gonna be a golf instructor when you grow up. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>